Here are a few applications of uh, first law of thermodynamics. We will be looking at some thermodynamic processes and apply the first law of thermodynamics to those processes. Just to revise delta U is equal to Q minus W is the statement of first law of thermodynamics. And let us first begin by what is known as, say for example, the cyclic process. Cyclic process. A cyclic process is one in which if we have a pressure volume curve, it starts at one particular location, takes a particular path and then goes back. So it starts from point one, goes like this and comes back to this point. Now when this happens, the state of the gas, if this is the container in which we have this gas, the state of the gas, that means pressure, volume and temperature of the gas at the beginning of the cycle and at the end of the cycle is same because we are coming back to the same point. We know that internal energy is a function of the state of the gas. So if PVT is going to, same, going to remain the same or it comes back to the same value at the end of the process, then the internal energy at the beginning and the internal energy at the end is going to remain same. And therefore for such a process, delta U is zero. And therefore if we apply first law of thermodynamics, zero is equal to Q minus W. Therefore Q is equal to W. What this means is the entire amount of heat energy which is given to this particular gas is used in converting, is used for doing work. So this is heat given to the gas is equal to work done by the gas. So there is no change in internal energy. If you remember our discussion on first law of thermodynamics, we said when you give heat to a gas, it gets or it can possibly get used up in two things. One is increase in or change increase in internal energy or for doing work. Since here there is no change of internal energy, the entire heat given is used for doing work. So Q is equal to W for a cyclic process. Right. Okay, let us look at second process. Let us say we are looking at isochoric process. And you know isochoric process is one where there is no change in volume of the gas. So delta V is equal to C. Now work done is equal to pressure into change in volume. So if there is no change in volume, therefore work is equal to zero. Again, if I put this in the first law of thermodynamics, delta U is equal to Q minus zero. So delta U is equal to Q. And I'm sure you have guessed it. The entire heat energy given to the gas is getting used for increasing internal energy. That means the gas is not expanding because there is no change in volume. So the entire heat is used for increasing internal energy. Third type of process is isothermal process. In an isothermal process, change in temperature is zero. There is no change in temperature. Now for an ideal gas, U depends on temperature of the gas. So if there is going to be no change in the temperature of the gas, delta U is equal to zero. Again we come back to this similar situation, delta U is zero. Therefore Q is equal to W. And that means entire amount of heat is being used for doing work. So that is what happens in case of an ideal gas where U is a reflection of temperature of the gas and temperature is not changing at all. The fourth process that we will discuss is adiabatic process. You know that in adiabatic process there is no transfer of heat. So heat is neither given to the system nor heat is lost by the system. The system is insulated. So in this case Q is equal to zero. Now if Q is equal to zero, if I use first law of thermodynamics, I'll get delta U is equal to minus W. Now there are two possibilities here. Work is done by the gas. Now if work is done by the gas, then W is positive. If W is positive, this equation will be delta U is equal to minus plus W because the work is positive and that is delta U is equal to minus W. That means delta U is minus W that means delta U will decrease because if this is negative so I can write down internal energy or simply U decreases. There is second possibility is work is done on the gas. In this case work is negative. 
therefore delta u is equal to minus of minus w. This is our equation, delta u is minus w. If work done is negative because work is being done on the gas. If this is negative, I get minus minus w is equal to plus w. Delta u. And if delta u is positive, that means u is increasing. U increases, internal energy increases. So this is what happens in case of an adiabatic process. The example of this, let us look at real life examples of this where uh, internal energy is <coughs> decreasing and where internal energy is incre increasing. Uh, uh, for example, you know, if you look, if you take the example of uh, a bike wheel, let us say we have a bicycle wheel, right, and you have this wall. Now, if this wall is this air pressure over here. Now, if you open this wall, suddenly what will happen is the air will rush out of this. Now, this is an adiabatic process because there is no transfer of it. Why do we say this? It's an adiabatic process because the air comes out so fast that there is no possibility of transfer of heat from atmosphere to the air. So it is nearly, nearly an adiabatic process. Now when it comes out, it does work against the atmospheric pressure. So it is doing work. Work is done by the gas. Work is done by the gas against the atmospheric pressure. So work is done by the gas. Work is positive and U decreases. And the temperature of the air which is coming out decreases because it is doing work against the air pressure. So you will find that this air, if you touch your hand towards it, you will find it is cold because its temperature has decreased, because internal energy has decreased. To look at an example of work is done on the gas, we can take the example of a thermos flask, say which has got, uh, you know it has got a lot of insulation. So let us say we have a thermos flask in which we have tea. Now supposing I am able to stir this, uh, not stir, if I am able to shake this thermos flask, right? if I take this thermos flask and I shake it, Work is being done on the tea over here. It is at a certain temperature, I am doing work on it. The tea will start swirling around into this thermos flask. I am doing work onto the tea. And what is observed is U increases. The tea becomes more hot because we are doing work on, onto this particular tea. So work is done on the gas, work is negative and U is increased. The tea becomes more hotter because of the swirling motion and because we are doing work against the friction or the viscous uh, viscosity between the layers of tea. So U increases in that case, the T becomes hotter. So these are some of the applications of first law of thermodynamics. Uh, I have covered quite a few processes. Uh, in the next video, I will cover uh, one process which I have not done over here and that is isobaric process. Thank you.